hello viewers in today's class we are going to discuss yet another uh, very important and conceptual problem from uh, definite integrals involving fractional part function and uh, greatest integer function right so here uh, we have to solve this uh, integral uh, from minus 1 to 1 and our integrand is the uh, fractional part of x uh, times greatest integer of x minus 1 right so here uh, what we will do uh, will uh, make use of the definitions of fractional part function uh, this is the fractional part function and uh, uh, this is the uh, greatest integer function right so let us call this integral as i right okay so now in order to solve this uh, integral let us first take the definition of greatest integer uh, function or the uh, first we'll take the uh, definition of fractional part function right the fractional part of x is defined by x minus greatest integer of x right so now if we substitute here uh, this value we have uh, minus 1 to 1 and here we have x minus greatest integer of x and then we have greatest integer of x minus 1 and dx right okay so now we see that our integrand is reduced to uh, the terms where uh, the greatest integer function is involved right okay so now here we see that uh, the lower limit is minus 1 the upper limit is plus 1 right and between uh, minus uh, 1 and 1 uh, we have the integer 0 right and since here the integrand uh, involved is uh, having the greatest integer function so uh, x is equal to 0 is the breaking point uh, where we have to uh, break this integral as a sum of two integrals right the first one is from minus 1 to 0 and the other one is from 0 to 1 so we can write it as minus 1 to 0 we have x minus greatest integer of x then we have here greatest integer of x minus 1 dx and then uh, the other integral is from 0 to 1 so here we have x minus greatest integer of x and here we have greatest integer of x minus 1 dx right okay so now uh, here uh, we have uh, split this uh, integral uh, from minus 1 to 1 uh, as a sum of two integrals that is i1 and i2 so i1 is from uh, minus 1 to uh, 0 and i2 is from 0 to 1 right so now we have to evaluate these two integrals right so before uh, proceeding further let us take uh, the definition of greatest integer function right see in the first integral uh, x varies from minus 1 to 0 right and in the second uh, integral uh, x varies from uh, 0 to 1 right so when x lies between minus 1 and 0 then the definition of greatest integer of x gives uh, gives it uh, the value minus 1 right and here when x lies between 0 and 1 then the value of greatest integer of x is equal to 0 right and moreover here uh, we have uh, one more term with greatest integer function that is greatest integer of x minus 1 over here and x minus 1 over here right so what we will do uh, we have to assign uh, a value to greatest integer of x minus 1 when x varies from minus 1 to 0 right and similarly we have to assign uh, the value for uh, greatest integer of x minus 1 when x varies from 0 to 1 right so for this uh, we'll make use of uh, these two inequalities right so the first one is uh, is uh, x greater than or equal to minus 1 and this is less than 0 right 
and if we subtract uh, 1 uh, throughout this uh, inequality uh, see what we get so we get uh, minus 1 minus 1 and here we have x minus 1 and here we have 0 minus 1 this is minus 2 here we have x minus 1 this is minus 1 so x minus 1 it lies between minus 2 and minus 1 so as per the definition of greatest integer function the value of greatest integer x minus 1 is minus 2 right okay now uh, let us take uh, this inequality so here we have x greater than or equal to 0 but less than 1 and now again here we have to uh, find the value of greatest integer of x minus 1 so what we will do we will subtract 1 throughout right so we have 0 minus 1 here we have x minus 1 here we have 1 minus 1 so this is minus 1 and here x minus 1 and here we have 0 right so we have greatest integer of x minus 1 is equal to minus 1 uh, as per the definition of greatest integer function right so when x minus 1 lies between minus 2 and minus 1 the value of greatest integer of x minus 1 is minus 2 and when x minus 1 lies between minus 1 and 0 the value of greatest integer of x minus 1 is minus 1 right so these are all important concepts so uh, without these concepts uh, we cannot solve these type of problems right so now uh, this integral uh, i it becomes i is uh, equal to uh, minus 1 to 0 and see here we have x then we have uh, this term so for this greatest integer of x we have minus 1 so minus 1 here and for this term uh, we have uh, minus 2 right so here we have minus 2 dx and now we have 0 to 1 then we have x minus for greatest integer x we have a 0 here so we have 0 and for this term that is greatest integer of x minus 1 uh, we have minus 1 right and dx so now we can uh, simplify it so we can take minus 2 outside so we have minus 1 to 0 this is x plus 1 dx and here we have minus uh, 1 outside so we have 0 to 1 and x dx right so now we have two very simple integrals to evaluate now therefore i can be written as minus 2 and here we have uh, uh, the integral of x plus 1 is x square over 2 plus x and we have minus 1 to 0 and here we have minus and uh, the integral of x dx is x square over 2 and 0 to 1 right so this is minus 2 and now uh, we can uh, substitute the limits and we'll take the difference so we have 0 square is 0 so uh, this is 0 here we have 0 uh, then we have minus minus 1 square is uh, 1 and this is 2 and here we have minus 1 and here uh, we have uh, uh, x is equal to 1 so 1 square is 1 over 2 minus 0 square is 0 and uh, now we have minus 2 and uh, this is 0 plus 0 uh, 0 minus here we have minus half and now we have minus half here so this is minus 2 and minus minus plus uh, so we have 1 over 2 right and here we have minus half so this 2 and this 2 get cancelled we have minus 1 minus half and this is minus 2 minus 1 over 2 that is minus 3 over 2 right so viewers uh, the value of uh, this integral is minus 3 over 2 so this is how uh, we solve this integral